Hi, it's Lisa. Today I have a photo for our load prompt of some books that I took a picture of before the load started, knowing that we were going to be doing things on books. And today's prompt fits these novels by Judith Krantz perfectly. Um, I started reading these in high school and it opened up this whole new world uh, that I didn't know existed. And of course much of it I could never possibly experience, so, it was, so I really have always enjoyed her books. Um, I've written up my journaling and I have a new sketch for us today. We're going to have this 4x6 portrait for photo and then um, a fair amount of journaling to this. I know that I want to do a lot with gold. Even before I pulled the photo out, um, these books were all about glamour and everything, you know, glittery and and just the gold seemed like the perfect thing and of course it's really big right now in scrapbooking and when I looked at the photo of course all the books have um, gold uh, um, embossing on the jacket so or on the outside of the book so um, I want to use a lot of gold and I went through my stash and pulled out everything gold that I have I had some, um, rhinestones here I've got a couple of different gold papers I used paper like this the other day, uh, some red uh, foil paper on a title, and it looked really, really good cut on the silhouette. So I think we're going to do the title out of one of these. I also have all these little Maggie Holmes uh, gold foil die cuts. I did a video the other day on using, um, creating your own transparency or vellum and transparencies. And so we may do something with this. I left a place on the sketch to do some stenciling. So we might do some there. And I may not do everything in gold. I might actually do some silver or something to, uh, to give us a little bit of contrast here. Now I've got all kinds of, we've got some trim. I think this trim is too old-fashioned. I don't think that's really quite the right thing, but I pulled it out. As well as, I love this glittery paper. This is actually a Kodak paper. I've had this a really, really long time. It's about the same length of time as some of those foil papers. It's a peel-away thing, and so I don't think I can cut this on my silhouette, because I think that would just be a disaster um, of trying to cut that. So if I use this, I'm going to have to come up with some other way. If I had a big shot, uh, you know, die cutter that I could roll it through, that would work good, but I don't. So um, I'm going to have to to cut it by hand if I use it. I even have some gold velvet. So let's get going here on the page, picking out a few things. I also looked at background paper. I looked first at a little bit lighter brown to go with the Scruples book jacket, uh, but the golds just didn't pop on it. I kind of want to use brown instead of black um, to make these things really pop uh, in color because I have this black trunk that I put everything in front of, and the reason I did that is that trunk was in my mother's living room, when, and that's where I would sit and read most of these books when I was, well, at least the first one when I was in high school. So I, I wanted something out of that to kind of, um, to remind me, and I wanted this to, to show up. So if I put on a black background, that's not going to show up so much. And this was the 70s when I started reading these, and brown was the color. So. I thought I would do a dark brown background. I've got my title here. This die cut, I did not watch any of the movies made with from her books, but it was kind of like watching a movie in my head, so we may use that. Uh, let's see which goals we want to use. It looks like that uh, duller shade of gold actually works better with um, all the other elements, and I'm fairly sure I don't want to use the trim or the transparency. I really do want to use the sparkly paper and this paper with the little dots I might be able to use for some type of um, mat. Now if I do stenciling, that one on the left there is actually the bronze color which looks gold to me. It's just a duller kind of gold but I don't have to do everything in gold. I could do the stenciling in silver and then the letters would cut in gold would really show up on that. Um, I can also cut my letters so that I, they have a mat behind them. So that's another possibility. I really like the letters cut out of this um, foil type of paper. I'm going to go ahead and do the stenciling in the bronze color. And when I, I did the video on this, and I'm linking that up here for the uh, this video as well, and it goes into more detail, but basically I'm using heavy gel medium and mixing in some of this bronze, bronze iridescent paint 
which gives it kind of a deep gold color. It takes a little bit of stirring around there, but um, you can get that mixed up. And I put it in a container that I can seal up and reuse what's left because I know I'm not going to use a whole lot uh, here for this stencil. And what I'm trying to do is to not really cover the whole stencil, but just get um, kind of an area there in the upper left hand corner. And I left some space for the words. I really wouldn't have had to do that because they're going to lay on top anyway. And those are going to be nice, uh, pretty little background once they dry. Just getting some of my extra little bits up there. Okay, it's good and dry now, and I went ahead and cut out Golden Gate, which is the name of is my title here, as I felt like these books were sort of a gateway to um, a world that I wasn't familiar with. And I cut this um, out of that same paper that I did the letters on the silhouette, and what I want to do is use the area in the middle, the blank area, to trim just a straight piece of this glitter paper, the, the peel-off paper, and then it can look like it's part of that design, so it'll be kind of resting behind, and I can still get the glittery look without having to worry about trying to cut that um, peel-off paper into a shape. Deciding on a mat, and I have a certain time of the day in my scrap room where the light comes in, <laughs> so I'm trying to hold something up there so you can see a little bit better, and we'll, we'll get out of this bright light here in a moment. It's a partly cloudy day, so there were times when it was really bright. And I think I like the paper with the little gold foil dots. So I've trimmed some things down, glued a few, few items on. I'm going to go ahead and get this um, border down. I will have to trim some of some excess off. I just cut it the size that it came on the silhouette. just made it a little bit larger, but I didn't try to snip out any of it on the silhouette. I just let it go ahead and cut the whole thing, figuring it would be a lot easier just to trim it off on the paper. And I really, th this came in a group of like four borders. This is the first one I've used. I really like it. Now I need a little bit more here, and I pulled out this um, film strip, and I discarded it because, say, I didn't really watch the movies. Um, but I do need something down there, so I considered doing more stenciling, some stamping. In the end, I go back to that film strip because I just need something to fill that space. And I also need another embellishment over on the left, and that's where this vellum paper is going to come in. I'm just going to take my Stamping Up Heart Punch and punch out a larger heart because I just didn't have quite enough vellum pieces for Maggie Holmes. And we'll glue that in place with trying to carefully Put some glue behind those in places that it won't show. And I've got some rhinestones that I'll add with um, glue dots. Now I need something in that space, and I considered like stamping a date of when I was doing this page. And I started looking for maybe some words to put there, and I found this little typewriter, and I thought that went with the books. So I'm going to glue all of these things on, and our page will be done. And because we had such bright light coming in, I didn't know how it was coming out on the video, I just have still shots of the finished page here. And we'll look at some close-ups as well. There's that um, title cut out of the gold foil paper with a large shadow, our pretty border, and then finally the journaling and a little bit of, air of embellishment below that. So thank you for watching today. I did not necessarily set out to use this many types of gold on my page, but I got a bunch of different uh, things. I got um, stenciling and um, vellum and rhinestones and all kinds of things in gold on the page. And if you like working with stencils, check out my Scrapbooking with Stencils class, and you can find all the information over on my blog. Thank you again for watching.